afternoon, everyone, and welcome to learn about China market. And uh, this is going to be a little bit special uh, panel discussion because we are going to do this in Chinese. So you will be able to not only learn about the market, but you will also be able to maybe catch up some Chinese. And the uh, reason is that uh, we have an uh, amazing um, panel here today representing the uh, largest Chinese uh, app stores. Um, but uh, they prefer to speak in, ch in Chinese. Um, so I'll be conducting this in, uh, in English and uh, my colleague Charles will be uh, doing, doing the translations um, of the questions and uh, then both of us will be translating the answers. Um, so bear with us that there's going to be a, a little bit of uh, waiting time for you uh, to get the, get the answers, but I think it will be worthwhile your attention. So my name is Mikael Leinonen. I'm a CEO and uh, co-founder of MyGames. We are publisher of uh, Western mobile games in China. And we are also the uh, organizer of uh, International Mobile Gaming Awards China. Um, IMGA China is uh, the most influential independent uh, mobile gaming awards in China. So it's a uh, it's a branch of the of the global global IMGA and uh, awarding the best Chinese games annually. And we also organize. Uh, B2B events uh, around that, bringing together uh, Chinese and Western uh, gaming companies. And my co-founder Charles, uh, he's uh, basically the man behind the IMGA China. And um, our panelists today, um, I will first do a short round of introduction uh, and then hand over the microphone to them uh, to give a, a little bit longer self-intro. So we have, uh, starting from there, we have uh, David Liang, um, who is the Deputy General Manager of uh, Xiaomi. I believe uh, most of you must know about Xiaomi. It's uh, one of the most uh, highest valued uh, tech companies uh, in the world. Uh, they have the uh, cell phone, smartphone brand, um, and they have a lot of other uh, consumer electronics uh, products under their brand, um, and they also have a sizable content business. Uh, Xiaomi is one one of one of the uh, top five um, game game and app distribution stores in China, um, and they also have their branches outside. Then we have uh, Jiao Chang who is the vice president of uh, Tuoku Games. Uh, Tuoku is a uh, spin-off uh, of a Baidu, um, one of the world's largest uh, internet companies, which is basically the Google of China, you could say. And uh, Baidu, Tuoku used to be basically the app store of uh, uh, Baidu, and now they have spin off to an independent app store and they also uh, focus heavily on publishing. And um, then we have Chris Joe, who is uh, from Tencent. Um, Tencent My App uh, Store, which is the uh, Tencent's biggest uh, app store. And uh, Chris is a uh, is a senior product manager and he's, he's also um, part of the Tencent Gaming Think Tank. And then we have Candice Lee from uh, Vivo. Vivo is, uh, I believe, uh, fourth or fifth largest uh, smartphone brand in the world. Um, not so well known in, um, in the Western markets yet. Um, they are, but they uh, they're basically the same group. Includes brands like uh, Oppo and uh, uh, OnePlus that are more well known here. Um, Vivo is is, is also uh, one of the largest top five uh, 
gaming stores in China. Uh, so this panel together, I think, um, represents probably 80 or 90 percent of the uh, active uh, users uh, of, uh, I mean, ac active mobile gamers in China through their the distribution reach. Um, China has currently um, nearly 600 million mobile gamers, um, and the market is, uh, I think, Apple's market share is around 13% only. Uh, so over 80% uh, is, is um, belongs to these stores. So to move move into the uh, self intro rounds, uh, could you? Each of you um, tell a little bit more about your company, um, how you serve the, uh, what kind of products you, you have to serve the uh, Chinese gamers. Um, maybe start from uh, Davy. Okay. Xiaomi is a special company, so they, uh, they sell the, the hardware, but not, not only that, they also provide internet service, and they are also a new reseller, so this uh, Xiaomi is kind of special combination of the above all three. 小米，我们不仅有手机，我们还有智能电视。呃，我们过去两个Q是中国最大的智能电视的呃品牌。呃，同时呢，我们还有呃智能硬件，就是IOT，呃，包括各种呃控制计划器，然后还有呃各种各样
So uh, we have we own our own uh, Android app store to do the distribution, and our daily daily day around five million, and uh, there's a lot of hyper casual and casual game players. They uh, they talking loud about the mobile game in our community, and we have some uh, BBIs, and we can get user traffic from. All the uh, all the apps from group uh, from Battle Group company like Battle Searching Engine and Battle Maps or the and, and etc. Yeah. So uh, currently we maintaining two main business. One is distribution. Yeah. Uh, we can release all the new games on our app store, and we do the publishing business as well. In the past years, uh, we have already made so many big hit in Android market, and and of course for exclusive publishing, we can cover App Store, China, and Android, all the other stores. So uh, like Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, and Tencent is our strategic partner as well. Yeah. Uh, the the big performance in the past years, like Talking Tom Go Run, we got the publishing lessons from uh, Office Seven. Uh, till now, we have three hundred million download already. Yeah, and another one is the Cats. We got the lessons from Zap Lab. Uh, in the first week, we got three hundred three three million DAU as well. Yeah. So uh, we are very familiar with how to publishing and uh, local local localize the casual game to feed the Chinese audience. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, welcome all of you guys from the Western country and talk about the publishing business in China. All right, Thank you. thanks, Theo. Then um, Chris, would you like to introduce Tencent? Yep. Um. 呃，腾讯其实是有中国最大的社交网络，有最大的内容平台，同时我们还是世界上最大的游戏公司，所以我们跟在座的各位，包括呃广大的欧洲的厂商，我们都可以有很多的呃游戏用户和游戏内容相关的合作。Yeah, Tencent is the, uh, okay, so has a larger social network in China. They are the the biggest game company in the world. And so they are open. They are uh, willing to cooperate with uh, any of you in Europe. All right. Thanks, Chris. Can this? Vivo 的话是一直专注于手机品牌的一家公司。然后我们是从一三年开始做互联网游戏的这个联运平台。现在我们应用商店的话已经达到四千一百万的一个日活。然后，游戏中心的话，现在是达到了一千多万的一个日活情况。然后，我们也是一直致力于更好的去服务我们的用户和我们的开发者，提供更好的服务。Yeah, so Vivo has a, a very good consumer brand, uh, uh, in China, and they, uh, they have the app stores uh, since uh, 2013, and currently the DAU of their a uh, game store uh, already reached the 41 million, and uh, and uh, it's one of the larger, largest uh, uh, app store in China. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, so Google Play is uh, is is not not accessible in China, and uh, we have all these uh, local local app stores and. Uh, the market shares of, of the app stores have been changing a lot over the years. Um, and, and now, uh, basically, we have Tencent and the hardware manufacturers uh, on the top. Um, so could you share us some insights on why, why is it that the uh, hardware manufacturers have been able to get uh, so strong market share uh, for the app store distribution? Yeah, so in the US, you know, 这 Google Play 不存在嘛？对，所以每一家这个手机厂都有自己的这个应用商店。好，你们为什么认为你们的应用商店可以做的这么成功？好，这个有没有什么样的
关键或心得来跟大家分享一下。我先来，可以来。OK， 嗯、呃，首先，呃，我们国内在做应用商店运营的时候，会更贴近用户啊、呃，我们会结合。呃，中国用户的很多对于节日、对于最近流行的呃这种产品和呃玩家以及用户的喜好做差异化的这样的运营，更本地化的运营，所以呃，对于呃国内的用户来讲，其实更喜欢也更相信系统自带的这种呃应用商店啊。Okay, so David from the Xiaomi said one one of the key they think their app store is successful in China is that they understand the Chinese better, so uh, they're looking for uh, the difference than what the Chinese people need and uh, make a big differentiate on the the app store compared to the Google Google Play in the global way. So he, he believe is one of the the key success factor. Yeah, so that's that's a very interesting area. Um, how could we dive maybe a little bit into that? That how how do the Chinese um, app stores differ from Google Play in terms of functionality and the features? 好，但 Mika 也特别提到，就是刚刚讲到这个，呃 ，David 讲到这个差异化，自己我们呃本地手机的国内的 App Store 跟 Google Play 啊的的差别。Mika 就想从更深入，这些差别，呃呃，可不可以具体一些？有什么什么不一样的？运营上上面或者？对对，我运营上面的啊，有什么不一样的运营？大家都可以回回答，好不好？啊，嗯，呃，要不要 vivo 先？ Okay. 变起来，好。就是我们 vivo 的商店和游戏中心的话，在起初可能是主要依靠于我们手机的一个销量，然后去给我们带来一些更多的用户。当然，在中国这么几年快速的发展以后，对于手机来说，它的人口红利已经慢慢逐渐平稳了。所以现在就是考验我们各个商店的一个运营能力的情况。所以我们中国一般在自己的商店，在一些节假日的时候，都会举办一些全平台性的一些活动。我们会通过我们手机的各个流量的入口，包括我们的呃负一屏。包括我们的 push， 或者是我们的闪屏，就是集合多种的资源，去让更多的用户引导他来我们的商店或者游戏中心，去挑选他们喜爱的一些产品。Yep. So the the candies from the vivo just mentioned the the difference. Okay. How why their app store uh is successful in in China? In talking about they they have a uh they do. The promotion in all the Chinese festivals, uh, in all kinds of the the entrants, including like a notification, including some uh, uh, special photos in the app store, and uh, there's uh, if you swipe to the the left, and there's also uh, have uh, some um, you know spot under the 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 search search menu, all types of the. Uh, customization, localization for Chinese customers. Great. So um, the the share number of of Chinese app stores has been uh, uh, caused caused to a lot of uh, uh, amazement and even amusement in in uh, Western countries. When uh, a few years ago there was still. Uh, mm -hmm literally hundreds of app stores. Mm -hmm. Now it has consolidated a little bit. Um, right. What is your recommendation for uh, for West, Western games, uh, how many different app stores they should be distributed in China in order to, to get the reasonable uh, share of the market? Like 这些呃西方的 CP 们怎么建议啊？你要进中国啊，至少要进哪几家？你觉得这个这个是合理的啊 ？Maybe Chiu, since you are you are、uh, actively publishing, and you can share <laughs> how many how many stores you you normally、yep. cover. Right, right. Uh, actually, for for Western developers, honestly, uh, Doku Game already is、um, a lot of contract with. Western developers ready and bring bring their games into Chinese market. When we make the publishing plan, uh, first we'd like to cover the top thirty, top thirty uh Android stores in China at least, and 
of course we will uh we will do analysis for kind of the games general and with the target audience and uh it's casual miko hako and then we can we can figure out which top 30 or which top 15 is the best for the game publishing so uh but honestly for for hako for uh hako manufacturer union yeah uh we have we have seven seven companies like oppo vivo and huawei and the other four uh phones manufacturers android store and xiaomi and tencent and tap tap yeah totally the 12 we we always call it seven at a five yeah mm. the 12 android stores you must to release your game on their app store and all the others that were based on uh, your game's genre and what you, what the target audience you want to. Yeah. Great. Could you guys uh, share about the, the differences between the audiences in, in, in app stores? Are they all the same, same audience or are there, do you see uh, differences in, in what kind of uh, players each app store can reach? Yep. So, you can like Longer Yejang, which is uh, Chi Jiao, put on the Zia Chu Dao. I make a Chu Dao, Tammy the Yong Hu Su Sing Si Yang Ma, Emilia Fancy, and so be your Yi Chu Dao Su Sing Si Pui Yang. So, a Sendu Yen, and I just saw Yi Jiao. So, I was showing Xiaomi. How the Hada Xiaomi? Xiaomi, Chi Shu Woman Shu Doga Pin Pai de Yiga Ji Hu, Woman Yo Xiaomi, Xiaomi Shou Ji, Dai Biao the Shi Yiga, Gao Xing Yabi. 然后，呃，它的用户更多的是年轻用户，啊、呃，硬核玩家，呃，然后我们还有黑鲨，啊、呃、，Black Shark， 黑鲨品牌是更硬核的一个玩家，他甚至为了玩游戏，呃，可能对应的是那些去超频的用户，呃，还有红米 Redmi， 呃 ，Redmi 呢是呃主打千元机这样的一个品牌，啊、呃，嗯、呃。面向更多的有有会有会有一些低龄的用户，也会有一些老年用户，啊，所以我们的用户特点是这样。Yeah, so Demi from Xiaomi mentioned about the characteristic of the their players. So the Xiaomi always highlight the high CP ratios. You know, you pay less, you get the high performance phones, and they also have the the brands called the Black Shark, right? Yeah. So it's yeah, it's targeting some like you know. Uh, the kind of hardcore fans you like uh, you pursue for like the the high performance the extreme experience and they also another brands called the Redmi and uh, it's uh, uh, the price of the Redmi, Redmi uh, device is very uh, affordable you know it's a, this is a target for like, uh, like a young generation or older people yeah okay okay Thanks. How about, how about Chris? Is there any words that you could uh, use to characterize Tencent My App uh, Store's users? How how they might. Actually, uh, Tencent, uh. 本身因为用户非常多，然后活跃用户超过十亿，基本上覆盖了整个中国市场六亿的全部的用户，所以呃，腾讯跟这呃跟小米或者跟这个 OPPO、vivo 跟华为的用户可能不太一样，就是我们的用户基本上是没有特定的属性，基本上所有的游戏在我们的平台上面都可以找到呃对应的用户。Yeah, so uh, Tencent have a, you know. Uh, large uh, user base. They, they are not the, they are not the uh, device makers. So, uh, as a point of view, the Tencent My Apps they cover, they have uh, over like one billion users. So they can pretty much cover all type of the uh, users in China. Vivo 的用户的话，主要的我们面对的是十。八岁到三十五岁之间覆盖的一些，主要是一些比较年轻的一些用户、玩家，然后主要再就是呃，像学生，然后包括初级的白领，是我们主打的年轻用户。我们的男女比例大概也是男性会占百分之五十五左右。包括我们近期有推出一个品牌叫 i c o o i c o 的品牌的话是主打互联网啊、呃、游戏的一些用户。Okay. So the vivos users, uh, 
uh, they, they target the uh, young generations, uh, the age from the 18 to 35, you know, students to young adults. So among those uh, young uh, 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 players, the uh, customers, 55% uh, are male and 45% are females. So one of their brands called the iCool and uh, is targeted to the young users. Let's talk more about the the users' uh, habits in in China and how they how they might refer, differ from the Western uh, players. Um, so there's uh, a lot of talks about Chinese games uh, being much more aggressive on the monetization mechanics compared to uh, Western free-to-play games. Um, in addition to that, what what would be the uh, some of the characteristic of Chinese market that uh, the, West, the Western game developers should be aware of, like what are the perhaps the more um, important genres, um, and and what are are there some genres that are, are not uh, successful at all in or popular at all in in China, and is there some player habits uh, that uh, are, are, are very different from from Western Western games. Uh, so just just freely uh, give give those. 好, Mika, 问题就是中, 中文那个玩家的差异性，它的习惯嘛。其中Mika刚提到的是Jungle，就这些呃游戏的品类啊，比如说呢有哪一些国外的CP，比如最好不要碰啊，或者说这个这些品类在国内的这个付费习惯是
So if you want to uh, have more user traffic and then more you new user, we have to we have to make more and more uh, special content and lab ops for Chinese users to promote our marketing cap. Yeah. So basically, the uh, the core core gameplay itself and and the game graphics, there's no need to start to change those, but uh, you often need to improve the uh, the onboarding process that make the tutorials more uh, perhaps more hand-holding for the players and um, then cater cater to those local festivals with the, with the Chinese style of uh, contents yeah. yeah right yeah those are good 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 advices um, are there um, any uh, sort of uh, challenges that you you see uh, when when Western Game developers are are working through with their with their local China China publisher, um, and uh, do you do you see uh, from the store store perspective? Do you guys see that um, uh, Western developers could could uh, improve in some areas, for example, uh, tailoring their content more, or, or what 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 should they do better? Is there any patterns there? 在上一年多国外的CP嘛,从渠道的角度,你们给这些CP一些建议,如果他们的游戏上了你们的渠道,那你希望他们需要更多的为了中国玩家要更多的克制化,还是如何,这是一个很好的机会。呃，因为中国的App Store跟海外可能不太一样，呃，海外不管是呃Google Play 还是App Store 其实是都是走着推荐的逻辑。那中国的这些App Store 其实我们更讲的是，呃，我们这些渠道跟用户之间的关系。所以我们也很希望说，用户可以在我们的平台上面，呃，跟这个游戏厂商一起进行一些交流活动，然后玩家之间可以互相交流，然后玩家跟游
啊、嗯，然后在跑酷类的也是有大几百万的一些收入，因为我们还有加上广告的收益，所以收益也是非常可观的。网游的话就更不用说了，重度的游戏基本上拓不上的一些游戏都是可以达到破千万的一个流水。嗯，所以总体来说，收入还是比较可观的。Yep. So from uh from vivo, and uh the 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 uh the mesh mesh three genre, the the top games uh easily get over ten million RMB per month, and for uh uh endless runner games genre and uh, monthly revenue uh be several uh millions. And not to mention about the RPG, um, uh, average RPG gains uh, easily over 10 million RMB per month. And these are cross revenues. So how is how is the cross cross revenue then then split between the store and the publisher? 嗯，对，这只是流水嘛。所以说，呃，这个渠道跟 CP 的拆成，嗯，是怎么样的啊？在中国的话，比较普遍的一个分成模式，可能就是五比五。嗯、对，然后我们当然是针对一些独立的游戏、嗯，我们有一些渠道会联合起来去，呃，帮助他们，因为许多独立游戏的开发者，他一般都是比较小的一些团队，然后这些产品又非常有创意，我们也希望能够让他们持续产生更多精品的游戏给到我们的渠道，也给到我们的用户。所以对于这种精品的独立游戏，我们渠道也有一些比较优惠的分成，可能会达到阶梯性的。啊、嗯，然后可能阶梯到，比如说十万以下，我们是不分成；然后十到五十万之间，我们会三期。啊、嗯，然后在针对广告的话，我们这些独立游戏，我们也会是有一个三期的分成。嗯，对。Okay. So the typical revenue share between the channel and CP, I mean the developers, uh, fifty fifty, right? But uh, they also encourage the indie developers. For indie de developers are willing to. Uh, give more, uh, seventy percent to indie developer, but uh, but if the the revenues between uh, is below a hundred k, so uh, the we was willing to give out all the revenue to developers, and between hundred k to five hundred k is seventy percent to to indie developers. They also incur. They also have. Uh, uh, they do the ad revenue share, seventy percent to developer. As well, so um, yeah, that ad revenue share might be something that is a uh, uh, big question mark for Western Western developers because in if you publish on the Google Play or App Store, uh, basically the the platforms won't take their cut from the ad revenues. Uh, but in China, it works differently. Um, the could you open open that up a, a bit more? How um, the channels are, are maybe providing the um, the ad SDKs, how that works, and then um, also on the what, what is the the channel uh, the distribution channel uh, doing uh, for their 50%? So basically, on the overseas markets, Google Play and Apple, they only take 30%, uh, but in China, the Platform takes fifty percent. So how how does the uh, sort of service to the um, to the uh, publishers differ? 好，好，就两两个问题，米卡。一个当然讲是广告的的事情。如果怎么样接，怎么样可以在你们渠道有广告收入啊？是不是要加广接入广告 SDK 啊？第二个当然就是在国外这个 iOS 或 Google Play， 他们都三七拆嘛啊，就是开发商拿七成，在国内普遍是五五啊。就多的那一那一点的原因是什么啊？来跟国外的 CP 解释一下啊。呃，我我我先说一下广告。好。嗯，小米的广告平台是这样。嗯，我们是有一个小米的 DSP 的系统，就是，呃，我们会有广告销售去拓展广告客户，嗯、然后，呃，广告客户会在 DSP 系统上去投放。啊、呃，同时我们也给游戏开发者提供了一个统一的一个广告 SDK，、嗯、这个 SDK 里面包括有 banner、有激励视频这些能力，然后这个 SDK 对接小米的广告系统，来帮助开发者实现广告变现。Right. Yep. So Xiaomi have uh, uh, the ad SDK, so they have a DSP, so they have a like sales team to find the marketer advertiser. Uh, 
uh, for 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 the, for the games, right? So you integrate the Xiaomi One SD case and 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 uh, yeah, yeah, it's all done. Yeah. And then for the uh, the user acquisition uh, in the stores, uh, Western publishers are uh, very ac accustomed on on uh, using the performance marketing um, to to buy users uh, from uh, third party uh, ad networks. Um, so how how does that work uh, with the Android stores in China? Right. So Mika's question is about the buy量. Ah, so in the Android channel, ah, how to buy them? Ah, yeah. Well, actually, like for example, like for example, 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 for example,那腾讯其实有一个专门负责这一块业务的部门叫做广点通那它其实会把整个腾讯下所有的资源包括我们的信息流产品包括我们的这个IM领的一些广告位 so, uh, Ten Tencent have one uh, unified department called 广点通 So if you want to do user acquisition from the Tencent channel You can contact the the department of Guang Tiantong, uh, including all kinds of the you know the way uh, to uh, to add your the game. Yeah. Mm. How about from um, Baidu? Baidu? Baidu perspective, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Uh, because Baidu have uh, searching engine system, uh, it's very the business model for advertising or the uh, user acquisition is very similar uh, similar to Google Play. And you can you can buy some keywords and uh, to to have a good uh, tag position uh, in the searching result. Yeah. So so uh, this is the most normal way to to have some advertise and do the user acquisition. And of course, in uh, on on our app store, you can buy some advertising uh, tag position as well. Yeah. By daily, by weekly, monthly, even yearly, we can we can think about that. So these are banner, yeah, right. banner, banners, banner, yeah, or, or some icon, yeah, yeah, in so the, on the app store. Basically, those uh, featuring spots that are um, maybe on on uh, Apple or Google Play, sure. they they are just uh, randomly, sort of randomly mm -hmm. decided by the app store. But in with the Chinese app stores, the publisher can actually. Uh, by those placements, yeah, uh, but but the uh, the advertising position is very little, yeah. Yep. All the others would be maybe by the editor, editor choice, or by kind of AI system, yeah. Yep. If you if a game performance is good enough, okay, you you can you can have more exposure on on the App Store. Yeah, yeah. Chris, how how does Tencent App Store? Uh, Decide what what games get features and. and Chris,对，对，我们有两种，呃，一个就是我们的确我们也跟这个呃苹果一样，就是我们讲编辑推荐，那我们还有一部分其实跟谷歌一样，就是算法推荐，其实两种都有，然后同时我们也支持这个直接
So that process has, has now been uh, running again, um, and um, but it's it's still a little bit lo low. So there is uh, at maybe six to nine months uh, waiting time if you submit your game now and then uh, to get to get the approval. So it would be very uh, advisable for for any any uh, developer who wants to pub get their game published uh, in China, either on the Android or, or iOS side, to, to start to uh, research, do their home, homework about the uh, regulation and start to uh, prepare uh, their game for the uh, application. All right, that's it. We are uh, out of time. So uh, thank you very much for all the panelists for the insights. And uh, we will be here. Um, in the conference uh, the rest of the day and and also joining the dinner so any of you who are interested in uh, talking to them uh, please just uh, come to look for them um, you can get by with english as well um, and uh, or we can help to translate so do take the opportunity they are actively looking for games all right thank you okay. thank you, thank you.